What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So uh, we have an early training session right now. It's like 7.30 in the morning. So we're gonna get in an early session and then come back, pack up, and then we head down to San Antonio, Texas to play San Antonio FC, which is a huge game. First place team in the division. So yeah, big weekend for us. So let's do it. Um, like I've said before, whenever we do these travel trips, I really like training in the morning here in Tulsa, um, getting it out of the way, getting showered, and then leaving for the airport or leaving on the bus or whatever. I just like that because then when we get into San Antonio or wherever we're traveling, you can kind of just chill, relax. It's been a long day, so you don't have to go back out and train. Um, and like the hot part of the day too. Uh, like I said, 9.45, so I have like an hour and a half to eat breakfast, pack up, and get ready for the trip. So I'm gonna shower right now and uh, get all ready. Okay, here is breakfast. I'm really mixing things up today. I have four fried eggs with two veggie sausage patties and a big mango. Um, I already had, before training, I had like a banana and a cup of coffee. So early training, so I didn't get that big of a breakfast. Um, so this is like my real breakfast and I'll probably have another meal in the layover in Dallas, in that Dallas airport, and then we'll have our team dinner at like six o'clock tonight. Um, yeah, so we have like 30 minutes. Maybe you're gonna be ready in like 30 minutes. 30 minutes before we leave for the airport. So I'm sure you guys are all wondering what I'm gonna be watching on Netflix because that's like the main thing about these trips is just watching Netflix. But I've downloaded QB1, what so I'm gonna watch. It's <laughs> QB1 is like uh, follows high school recruits in their last season, their senior season before they head off to college. Quarterback one? Yeah. So yeah. It's just quarterback. Just uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't watched it yet, really but fair. so I've downloaded that. I've downloaded. Um, the Umbrella Academy, so like a, the first season of the Umbrella Academy, and also the movie Project Power. Easy. Sorry, it was chill. crazy. Chill. <laughs> you need to chill. This you are going. This isn't California. This no. is Oklahoma. People chill. here don't honk. They'll literally miss an entire green light because they don't want to honk. <laughs> okay, Mimi. I'm not gonna miss Mimi's it. Mimi's on a mission right now to get to the airport, so uh, we'll be there in like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> What are you gonna do for the flight? Hold on, stay long. <laughs> I got my QB1. Yeah, the most boring program ever. It's been on board, because I have to sit here in silence. <laughs> you can't. No. I ran out of sunscreen the other day, I almost hit you up. You could. It's still, I've got some. Vegas is, is a Vegas is a shit city to fly into, it's just a desert. Yeah, I guess you're all right. All right, Florida, Miami. Yeah, with the ocean. That's yeah. The ocean. West Palm. No sh Portland. Portland's cool. Shut the f up. All right, flight number two, Dallas, San Antonio. What are you gonna watch? You stop following me around. <laughs> Callum specifically says every time, oh, what, are you, what seat are you sitting in? I want to sit next to you. Every single flight. I swear you call me. You ask me mine. Do you want to bet? No, that's why I put the window on. Yeah. Are you, you, you going to watch a movie this time? I'm going to try, yeah. Which movie? Now you got to make one up because you're going to watch something lame. I think it's inappropriate. I don't know what it's called. Like Knock Top or something? <laughs> Okay, here's the uh, hotel room. Looks the same as always. Let me open these up. 
Nice king bed, couch, TV. Can I help you? Yeah, we're ready to roll. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I just gotta show the hotel room first. Oh, wow. All right, we, uh, we don't get dinner for another hour or so, and I didn't get lunch because we had a quick layover. So I'm just gonna get Jimmy John's real quick with the dummy. His best friend. Yeah, and then we'll have dinner later tonight. That was an awkward part. <laughs> what, no, what is this? Okay, so it's like five o'clock in the evening right now. We have like our official dinner at like six, I think. So we just go down, grab up the, the dinner, and bring it back up to the hotel room. Um, yeah, but I was so hungry because I just didn't have a chance. I had that breakfast that you saw and then I didn't have anything because our, our layover in, in Dallas was so short. Um, but got that, then I'll bring up the dinner and I probably will have the dinner, like I'll have a late dinner. I'll probably eat that at like seven, eight o'clock at night. Okay, just picked up dinner. Show you what it is. We got some fruit cups. And looks like some chicken, rice, and a whole bunch of pita bread. And some broccoli, carrots, some veggies and stuff. So there we go. There's dinner. I'm gonna eat this right now. Even though I had that Jimmy John's about an hour ago, I'm still kind of hungry. I'm just gonna have this. And then, yeah, then I'll just be back there watching TV shows and movies for the next five hours until I go to bed. So my meals were a little off today. I had like two early breakfasts and two late dinners, but whatever, it works out. Um, now I'm going to watch Project Power on Netflix. It's like 6.30 at night. Probably watch that movie. Um, maybe watch a few little YouTube videos and then uh, just pass out, go to bed. Other than that, I'm really just kind of drinking, probably drink both these waters tonight. And uh, that's about it. So, I mean, I don't have much for you. I'm just gonna be watching movies, hanging out, resting, going to bed probably 9, 10 o'clock at night and uh, doing the normal pre-game routine tomorrow, so. Yep. Hi, good morning guys, what's going on? It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been up for like an hour, just kind of like been on my phone, chilling, watching some Netflix and some YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, got a great night of sleep last night. I think I got like, nine hours of sleep, so fantastic. We have team breakfast and then we're going on a little walk, so I'm gonna go down and do that and just basically come back up here and chill. So I'm about to head down right now. I always forget to film when it comes to like breakfast and team walks and stuff. I just get caught up talking with people and hanging out. Um, but I'm back. It is, uh, what time is it now? 10.50 in the morning. So we're just kind of down there hanging out, eating breakfast. We had like two, I had two breakfast burritos, um, an apple juice, and a banana, and a cup of coffee. Now I got some snacks. I have like this kind oats and honey bar. I got two of those, a Nutrigrain bar, got two more waters. So I'm just kind of chilling here, waiting for the, uh, for the next thing to do. Chill in the hotel room. It is a really weird mix though. Like it feels so relaxing. Like you're just in a hotel room all day, all night. You know, you're not even supposed to hang out with people that much, but just watching movies, like really having just like a, what feels like like a mental health rest day, doing nothing but just relaxing, watching Netflix, letting the body relax, letting the mind relax, doing nothing. But yet you still have this crazy, huge game tonight against a, a really good San Antonio. And like you just, it's that weird mix of just complete relaxation while also in the back of your head, you have like those butterflies and that like anxious like game, you know, pre-game butterflies, pre-game nerves getting ready for it. So it's a really weird, um, like a really weird feeling of complete relaxation, but yet you're still kind of like in the back of your head, you know you're about to have a, a battle later tonight, which is interesting. All right, I'm about to go watch some Netflix. It's like 
uh, 2.10 in the afternoon. I actually took probably like an hour nap or so from like noon to like 1, 1 15-ish. Uh, I was just listening to a podcast, hanging out in bed, kind of playing on my phone and just passed out. So decent little hour nap. Um, now I'm just about ready to head down for our team meeting and team lunch um, and then come back up here and then kind of hang out a little bit more. Okay, <sighs> just got lunch. We had our team meeting and everything. Team meeting probably took like 30 minutes just going over San Antonio and we've already played them before so we're just watching a lot of film, kind of talking about our defensive shape, our offensive tactics, stuff like that. Um, lunch, we got a little salad with some ranch dressing. We've got two, looks like two chicken thighs with some white rice. There was also some pasta if you wanted it but I, I didn't want to go for it. I like to eat like a little bit like a lighter meal before the game. Um, and then I have a liquid IV pack, which I'm gonna put in this water just for some electrolytes before the game. So yeah, here we go. I got my water with liquid IV, just eight. It's currently 3.30. Um, we meet in the lobby at six o'clock uh, to head to the stadium. So that means I have two and a half hours now. Um, two and a half hours of chilling. <laughs> and watching more Netflix, watching a movie. I think I'm going to watch uh, Project Power on Netflix. I've just been watching random YouTube videos and getting caught in the YouTube rabbit hole where you watch a video, then you watch the next recommended video, then you watch the next one. You just keep, all of a sudden you're watching something you have no idea what you're about to watch. Um, but one thing that I kind of wanted to talk about that I, I really noticed a few games ago um, was just the difference that I kind of felt like pre-game um, now that I'm on what I think is one of the best teams that I've ever been on, I think the best team I've ever been on, um, and just the comparison of how I feel the day before, the day of a game, I'm just so excited to play and to compete and to win. Um, it's just a really, really good feeling, and it's just exciting again versus when you're you know, towards the, the bottom of the table, which I have been for the last few years. I mean, with the Roughnecks down in New Zealand, um, even St. Louis FC, we just lost a lot, and so you almost get that feeling heading into games where it's just like, okay, here we go again. You know, you have that confidence that we can win this one, and you compete, and you play, you give it your all, but at the end of the day, you kind of know, like, um, you're not expecting to lose, but you know a loss is, is could definitely happen, and so you just have that, like, okay, please, I just don't want to lose, and here, now, I'm just like, I want to play. I want to win. I, I believe like I can win. It's just such a different mindset. So yeah, it's, it's a good feeling. Um, so I'm really excited for tonight going up against the first place San Antonio FC. I mean, this is a huge game. Again, we're both undefeated, so it's going to be big and I'm really excited for it. So, uh, so pretty cool. Um, I was just chilling in bed watching project power and uh, Jim, my little team manager, comes by and is like, I got something for you. He like texts me, what room are you in? So I let him know. And then uh, he just drops off some chocolate cake. And he says, happy birthday, because uh, tomorrow is actually my birthday. He's like, yeah, I know it's tomorrow, but uh, just have that you know, for after the game or tomorrow or whatever. So uh, pretty cool. I mean, I'm obviously not going to have it now, because we've got a game in like five hours. But yeah, made my day. I'm excited about that. Turning 28. Turning 28 tomorrow. Getting old. But I'm feeling good. This is the, like I've talked about before. I think I've said this in a few vlogs, but like body, how I feel, athletically, technically, tactically, everything. I think I'm at the, the absolute peak that I've ever felt in my life, you know, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel fantastic. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is like 536 in the evening. I'm going to do the classic pregame shower, get all freshened up, shave. Um, I really think there's some truth behind that, that stupid saying of you look good, you feel good, you play good. Um, for me, if I'm all like fresh, have a nice shower, um, just feel a little cleaned up and a little bit more put together, and I haven't just been laying in bed all day like waking up with bedhead and everything, for me it just kind of gets me into the, the mindset of like, okay, you know, it's like business time, it's game time, I don't know how cliche or stupid that is, but it does help me always, 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 always shower before the game to just kind of like reset everything. And there's like, there's a little bit of truth too by the whole like game day rituals and procedures. It really does help you get into the zone of like, okay, this is my rest time. Now it's time for the game. 
Um, so yeah, so now it's shower time. Okay, it is 5.53, which means it's time to head down to the lobby. Got like seven minutes, so I should be right on time. And head off, let's go. Antonio right back. Morano again inside the box. Maloney, is that a handball? It is a handball. And a penalty awarded to San Antonio in the 42nd minute. Yeah, no doubt about that one. And Selignac puts SAFC ahead, sending the keeper the other way in the 42nd minute. San Antonio has broken through. That he would defend with his arms out inside the box. I mean, typically defenders. Are... What? Service in, punched out, brought down. It's loose. Oh, what a save by Cardoni with a right hand. Big reaction save. That was Marlin. Who came down with it? Well, it might have even gone off Maloney too, perhaps. And yeah, now get out. Don't sit back. You got to get the defense out, where you can play some possession and start to progress the game into an area field away from your box. Oh, Gonzalo Lorenzo and uh, Fabian Bastidas. A little bit of a confrontation over there on the far side. Bastidas. <laughs> He's shown red. Fabian Bastidas was shown red. Martinez and Dorenzo in a battle, and then Martinez. Oh, he kicked the, kicked ball, the ball while into the player the face down. of Dorenzo. Yeah. Yeah. And Maloney will put it away for San Antonio FC. And you have the arguments going on and the defense got disorganized. Um, couldn't make the adjustments quick enough playing a man down. Set piece opportunity for Tulsa after the foul on Maloney. Maloto, good bending ball into the box, it's the post and the rebound falls wide. Oh, that's two posts in the last two matches. Oh, it's your kind of season. That's a great delivery from Lebo Maloto. Marlin twice tonight, tonight first by Conor Malone. And the start they've had is very early on. Uh, and I'd have to say this, even in the awkward preseason where we didn't have our normal preseason, is they knew what they wanted. They came out of last year playing a three, five, a back three, and uh, just single wide midfielders and, and two strikers. And, and eventually it kind of grew into a three, four, three. Um, end of this game, remember, an undefeated team. And so, they do have a season to still fight for. San Antonio FC is unbeaten through their first nine matches. They have their first win. To be honest, I think I, I hate losing more than I love winning. And I have no idea why, but like, as I've gone through my career, like year after year, the losses affect me more and more. Like, I mean, I've always hated losing. I've always loved winning. I've always been ultra competitive, 
but I don't know. I mean, as I get older and older, every loss just hurts more and more. It becomes like more painful, and I really, I don't know why. I mean, it just, it just sucks. I think I just put a lot of pressure on myself um, to win and to play well. And like this game against San Antonio, um, we lost, and you know, two zero. And I had a pretty bad game, to be honest. It wasn't even that bad. Um, but it definitely wasn't a good performance for me. I've definitely played a lot better. And I think just the more training I do, the more experience I get, I think that I put more pressure on myself to be consistently good and to always go out there and have at least a baseline, a standard that, that I'm like proud of. And when I have that one game that comes, you know, like this game where I didn't feel like it reached that standard, it just really affects me. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just, it just sucks. But one thing I always do is I always try to have a very healthy mindset. It's not always a positive mindset, but I always try to adopt a very healthy mindset. So tonight, you know, what you're seeing is a very, it's an intimate moment. I dwell on it. <clears throat> I'm frustrated. I get mad. I'll stay up till 3, 4 a.m. replaying and, and dwelling on the mistakes that I had or the plays that I should have done something differently. But then as soon as I wake up tomorrow morning, as soon as tonight's over, like I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm over it, and I'm just you know I'm, I'm happy. I'm I'm back to normal. I'm I'm just focused on that day. I've completely forgotten about this game. Um, <clears throat> I'll definitely watch the game over again. Watch the game multiple times over again. Do the full game analysis that I always do. But in terms of dwelling and being frustrated, that's just just tonight, and I quickly move on the next day. Um, but at least I have my my chocolate birthday cake that my team manager got me. Hi, good morning guys, what's going on? Um, I've just been packing up. It's like 7.32 in the morning. The bus departs at 7.45, so we have a few more minutes. Um, I'm all ready. I'm all packed up and everything. I get paranoid with time, so I gotta be early. Uh, but in other news, it's officially my birthday, and I'm officially 28 years old, so I'm getting up there, but uh, still feeling young, still feeling healthy, still feeling very, very good. Um, you know, I definitely would have loved to have three points as like a birthday present for the weekend, you know, to have a great weekend, be all pumped, have a great performance and everything. But, uh, but yeah, sometimes you just can't control that. And uh, I'm not gonna let, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to really move on, not dwell on it. I, I stayed up till like 4 a.m., not 4 a.m. I stayed up until 2 a.m., fell asleep, woke up at like 5 a.m., fell back asleep at 6 a.m., and I woke up at 7 a.m. So, all right, well, I'm going to uh, just make sure I didn't forget anything and then head down to the lobby to uh, leave San Antonio. First time ever. <laughs> no. People aren't even gonna know who you are. People think think I'm pregnant because I'm never in your videos. Yeah, and you're always going back to California. That's okay, why so if watch, I am, watch wait, the map. what am I doing? Look at the what map. What am I doing? What's the map say? Jeez. The GPS. map it's meant to be easy on you. It's it tells you easy. it literally tells you the exact lane to be in. Anyway, maybe just pick up from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great trip so far. Um we're gonna get home safely. Yep. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's like 15 minutes back. It's an easy couple flights back into Tulsa. Um, I finished up Project Power. That was a really good movie. I'm gonna give that like a eight out of eight or nine out of ten. I'm gonna say eight and a half out of ten. What's a ten? A ten on a movie scale? Something like uh, Hot Rod. Something, <laughs> around, they shot something around that quality. <laughs> wow. I blew those up myself. How? Uh, you have to use this little straw and you stick it in the valve. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And a chocolate cake. And it's all dark. The inside and the outside. Happy 28th birthday. I didn't have any real markers, so. <laughs> <laughs> Highlighters and pens. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of cake for just you and me. I couldn't make half of a cake. I mean, you could have made it smaller, right? Or you no. have to fill up the whole cake tin? I have to fill up the tin? whole cake pan. Yeah, well, 
I'm excited to try because I don't know what it tastes like. I mean, <laughs> you can't you can't, you can't you really can't really go good. wrong with chocolate. Yeah. I'm saying I've never had a. Don't worry, I've had a cat before. I've never had these uh, balloons before. I'm excited. I wanted to get you more, but... Was that the package that, that came in the budget. mail for the... <laughs> That's that was funny. The, the whole budget right there. Nice. Yeah, I figure you can just leave them up for my birthday, too. That, yeah, that'd be smart. Eco-friendly. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mimi. Mm -hmm.